Hey guys, Quiv the Lazy Geek here, and today we're going to learn how to do pixel math without PixInsight. So if you have PixInsight or you have uh, used PixInsight in the past, you've probably heard a lot about pixel math. And pixel math, as its name would imply, allows you to do math uh, operations on your images. And so you can combine images in very weird ways um, and you can really do magic with uh, pixel math. And PixInsight users who are proficient at pixel math, they can do absolutely crazy things with it and they absolutely love it. And then you of course have the detractors of pixel math, uh, users of PixInsight are not, that see it kind of as a proof that PixInsight is overly complicated and uh, pixel math is a symptom of that. I personally, I love pixel math, I am not proficient at it, but I can see it for how amazing a tool it is and it's really super flexible, can allow me to do all sorts of stuff and I am not forced to use it when I am doing my workflows in PixInsight. One of the exceptions is for very like complex kind of narrowband combination formulae uh, like the one that I have introduced earlier in a previous video which I'll uh, link to above uh, that uses a power of inverse pixels something like that as an operation it's a, like kind of a complex formula and this there is no way I would be able to do that as far as I know in GIMP or or in Photoshop and so I need something like pixel mass uh, in PixInsight to do that except let's say that I don't own PixInsight. How will I do that? There's actually probably multiple solutions. Uh, some comments I've seen tell me that MATLAB or Scilab which is, a, which is free um, probably lets you do that and another comment that I've seen uh, actually gave me the solution with um, a, free, a piece of free software called ImageMagic except that it requires you to use the command line so I'll guide you through that today and first just to show you a bit why it is so nice to be able to do that without PixInsight. It is for this narrowband combination here, combination here, the dynamic narrowband combinations with pixel math. And in particular, we have those formulae uh, here for um, bicolor and tricolor kind of narrowband images. I absolutely love them. It gives colors that I personally like much better than the standard uh, Hubble palette because the standard SHO Hubble palette as far as I'm concerned it murders the green out of the image and it feels like we're working with three colors to end up with a bicolor kind of image and while I think like aesthetically speaking it looks magnificent um, it's yeah, it has its drawbacks. And so I love this um, this dynamic narrowband combination method, except that up to now I wasn't aware that you could do it without PixInsight. So to start with, we, we're going to get ready. We're going to go to Image Magic, and I'll put the link down in the description. If you're looking at the description, by the way, and you're not subscribed to this channel, you might take this opportunity to click on that subscribe button. You would not regret it. But anyway, going back there, we're going to uh, Image Magic, and we are going to download that. So for that, I'll just go to the top, download. We're going to choose the Windows release from my computer, but you can see there's even a release for iOS if you really want to do uh, pixel math on iOS. I'll just uh, download, well, this one. It seems to be like the recommended one. And we're going to install that. And here we are. We're just going to accept the agreement. Um, click next, 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 basically. Install. And once it's done, I'm just going to click finish. And now we have image magic that's available for processing our images. So what I have here is I have um, red, green and blue as well as luminance uh, images. And they are as TIFF file, TIF files, and they are they have to be saved as 16-bit unsigned. And if you're using GIMP, you can do that. If you're using Photoshop, you can do that. If you're using uh, Serial, you can do that. If you're using um, PixInsight, you can do that, but then you can also do in pixel mass. So I don't, I'm not sure why you would try to do that. Uh, if you're using APT, I believe you can, uh, APP, sorry, I believe you can do that. Um, and you end up, I ended up with uh, red, green, blue, and my luminance image. And what I'm going to do is I am going to go to open a command line um, in Windows. So I'm just going to click on the Windows button or click on just the Windows startup, uh, type CMD for command prompt, 
Click on the command prompt and now we want to move to the directory that contains the images that I want to process. So I am just, my directory is here. I'm going to click on the Explorer kind of uh, search bar, Control C to copy that or so right click uh, copy. No, it doesn't exist. So just Control A, Control C to copy that. And then um, when you right click in the terminal, it will paste whatever you've copied. So I'll uh, actually do CD, which basically lets me change directory and then right click enter and that gets me into the directory. If your directory was in a different drive, you also have to put in the drive letter like this afterwards and press enter and then you'll be in the right directory. And now we'll want to look to use the magic uh, command line argument, uh, the command line uh, command in, uh, in here. And the way to use magic is um, basically you want to, to have magic you want then the input files. So for example, if you're going to build, um, so here is those three files they're taken with luminance, uh, sorry, with an L extreme filter. So I will want to combine the green and the blue in, into a single um, image. That will be my oxygen three image, for instance. So I'd go uh, magic and I'd say uh, blue.tiff and green.tiff. TIFF and then dash FX. Uh, that will be where I will put my formula will be after this FX. And how to refer to the images in your formula, it's fairly simple. U will be a variable that represents the first image. Um, v will be the second image. And for third image forward, you have to use something else. You have, you have a way that you can put U and then brackets and then two will be the third image. Uh, if you have more images, three will be the fourth image. One would be the second image. Zero would be the first image in the li list. Five, et cetera, et cetera. So it goes on and on. So, and, and we're going to use U2 uh, for the third image. But we have U and V, uh, which is enough. So I can do like U, which is blue times uh, 0 0.6 plus V, which is green times 0 0.4. And then we would put the output saying the output will be called o3.tiff. And this is basically what will do this pixel math and the formula really is in here. And so I can go in here. I copied my text. I right click to basically paste in the terminal. I, I press on enter and this will actually perform the magic. Thus the name image magic. And here we are, we have Oxygen 3 uh, that's available. And quickly I opened uh, PixInsight just to have a look and we indeed have an image. So at least we got something and it is indeed a combination of uh, green and blue. So this is cool. We've done our first um, kind of um, pixel math outside of PixInsight. Although a simple formula like that is actually very easy to do with layers in GIMP or in Photoshop. So we haven't revolutionized everything, anything yet. Where things will get more complicated is when we try to do these formula there where you have powers and you have inverse. So things get a bit more uh, difficult. When I look at those formulas, by the way, this hat thingy is power and this tilde thingy means one minus. So tilde O3 is actually one minus O3. Um, and uh, tilde all of this, wow, that's a complicated formula. Tilde all of this is one minus all of this. So it's gonna be a bit complicated to do that in command line. But fortunately, come, 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 I don't know the pronunciation, but guy who commented, thank you so much, by the way, about, uh, about this method already wrote down the formula, so I have nothing to do. And um, here are the formulae that we are going to use for this narrowband combination. We'll have O3HA and S2.tiff as the inputs. The formula is there, it's already pre-built, and then we'll output that as red.tiff and this one has green.tiff, so that's very easy. First, I'm gonna go in there and say that red, I'm gonna rename it to H alpha because we are using that as H alpha in my particular example. And uh, we already have oxygen three and we do not have S2. And S2, we can actually, I'm gonna use the luminance file uh, for S2 simply enough because that's what I did in my previous video for, um, 
the processing of that Crescent Nebula image. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you can check, I'll put a link to the video up above. Exactly what I'm doing is really secondary to how I'm doing it using image magic instead of pixel math. So now I have S203 and H alpha ready. I am going to just run this formula in my command line to create the new red, really. And here I am running the formula. Uh, we had to actually re replace single quotes by double quotes for some reason. So I'll make sure to update that and I'll put the formulas in the link uh, down below. It takes longer than pixel math, uh, but it will still give us uh, a result. And here it is. And we can run the second line, which, was, which will give us uh, the uh, green channel for our final combination. And here it is running right now. And the blue channel, as we see, will be just oxygen three. And now I could go into any piece of software that I want to actually do the uh, color combination. And that's basically the gist of it. This is how you do uh, pixel math outside of PixInsight. So if you ever want to do that color combination that I've been raving about for narrowband and you don't have PixInsight, now you can. And thank you so much for Again, I'm not sure how to pronounce your name, but thank you so much for your suggestion in the comments. It's been super useful. So with that, that's pretty much it for this video. So, so thank you so much for watching. If you're new to this channel and you like this kind of tip and tricks and uh, everything related to astronomy and astrophotography, this is the channel for you. Consider subscribing. And of course, you can check my history of videos to see whether that sounds interesting to you. And as always, you know, feel free to leave a comment feedback down below. Leave a like if you like this video. And don't forget to, for to look up at the stars whenever you can. And I'll see you next time.